Practice five for spring football for the Colorado Buffaloes. And um, as far as interview access, we got no players today, but we got George Hageman, uh, who's uh, director of leadership, right? It's director of leadership and engagement, I believe. Okay, yeah. So I knew there was a second part to it, but got him, you know, you know really engaging personality, actually. Yeah. Um, uh, so let, let's just start there because, you know, he was the one person we talked to today and obviously played with Coach Prime with the Cowboys and, you know, played in the NFL and has experience at IMG and, you know, really a good personality and, you know, a guy that has those experiences that can help these guys transition. Yeah, and, well, first off, you got to start with – uh, his physique, because Brian, you and I are not small guys. Right. I felt pretty darn small when yeah. he walked up to the podium yeah. and talked to us today and, and great personality. Um, and I think he's somebody that these players are really going to enjoy connecting with and has such a diverse background going back all the way with Coach Prime back to, you know, the academy they run, ran in, in Texas. Uh, he spent time working for the NFL Players Association, spent time at IMG Academy. So yeah. has a really good background. He, he's He's been on on the side of coaching and uh, obviously played in the NFL for a while and so he's got the things in the resume that are going to allow him to uh, you know really be a resource for these guys on the team and uh, it is important especially when you are building your roster like he said like so many transfers and that's something that he dealt with it at IMG Academy where you're bringing in all these people yeah. from across the country and so to have you know, uh, somebody that can kind of be a unifying force in the football program, I think, is great. And um, yeah, I, I would, if I was a player, I would want to hang out with George Hageman, in because he's obviously, again, has that wealth of experience. Yeah, and the, I like the point he made about the fact that at IMG, it's unique, and that and it's so, sort of like here, he goes, ninety-nine percent of those players or those athletes are not from Bradenton, Florida, and you're bringing them in either January, May, something like that, and you got to come together and uh, create a team that can win. That's a lot of what college football is, and especially it is here at Colorado. And so he's got experience in that regard. Um, you know, he brings you know great experience, and he's got that personality that I think the players you know want to would want to be around too. And so uh, I think he's a guy that I think players probably ought to reach out to somebody like that and say, hey, help me with this. But he seems like a guy you want to go to his office and visit him. Yeah, and, and you hear this often, it's that the players nowadays, they want to know the why. Why am yeah. I doing this? And yeah. I think the more voices you can have in your program to exp explain things from every facet, and, and certainly the, the coaches uh, uh, are a big part of that, but yeah. sometimes maybe they need somebody outside of their position group to, to go to and talk about whatever's going on in their life. Yeah, so uh, interesting hire and good hire for uh, Coach Prime and obviously for the future of these guys. And uh, one guy that is transitioning is Zay Weaver. And so we want to talk about him a little bit uh, because he had his pro day, was unable to go with the pro day earlier or last month, I guess, uh, because he had some sol shoulder surgery um, you know, this off season, wasn't quite ready, uh, but looked really good. And it was just a solo pro day for him. Uh, but you know, he looked really good. I mean, a 4-4-2-40, uh, 37-inch vertical. Um, we know he's athletic, but I thought he was faster than even I thought. Yeah, and the fact that there were, I think, 11 uh, NFL teams yeah. that were represented here mm -hmm. for one player kind of shows you, again, what Coach Prime brings from an exposure standpoint. Yeah. Um, if Carl Durrell was still the head coach here, I don't think 11 teams are going to come for one player to right. do a pro day. So, first off, it was great that he got that exposure. Yeah. and. The testing numbers were better than I would have expected, and yeah. and I had high expectations for Xavier Weaver based on what we saw him do last season. Um, but I didn't know that he was a four-four guy, and so yeah. I think his chances of getting drafted just went up substantially yesterday yeah. by that performance that he had here. Yeah, and I think he thinks that too. He had a funny line where he said, um, "You know, four-four. He goes, he goes, I probably put some money in my pocket." So, you know, he also looked really good. Uh, you know, doing the wide receiver drills and catching passes. And um, I saw him with one drop, but that's all I remember with him. I mean, lots of acrobatic catches. He's making catches, you know, on the sideline, keeping his feet in bounds, and things we saw during the season. But looks really good. And you know, he was a lot of fun to watch this year. And so he's a guy that you know I hope gets his name called. And wide receiver is such a deep position that you never know. Uh, but you know, he's a guy that I, I could see him getting called. Um, I don't know if he's a second, third day guy, but uh, you know, like you said, 11 NFL teams here showed some interest. So you hope he gets that call. And, and the fact that he was playing through that shoulder injury and had the success that he had, almost had a thousand yards here last year is really impressive. The thing about him that I really like, it doesn't seem like there's much wasted motion with Zay, Zay Weaver. He's, yeah. a, he's a very efficient route runner. And so 
putting a 37 inch vertical and a 4440 with that. Yeah. Now, uh, now I really do think that he's an NFL guy. Yeah. Well, it's going to be interesting to see uh, later on this month is the draft. We'll see if he gets his name called. Adam and I will be back next week. There is a practice on Saturday, but no media access. So we'll be back next week for the next practice.